All right, so we've got a great core movement here today for you. You've got the bicycle crunch. It's very simple. We're gonna lay on our backs. We're gonna put our hand on our temples. I don't like having the hands behind the neck because what you'll find doing is you start pulling on that neck. One thing whenever we're doing core exercises, especially core flexion exercises, is we tend to use that neck. We don't want to do that because we're already doing that throughout the day with our phones, watching the TV, driving. We're doing it all day. We want to not reinforce that pattern. So hands here on the temple. We're going to have legs up at 90 degrees and pushing the lower back into the ground. From here, you're going elbow to opposite knee and you're alternating sides. And you can do these slow or you can do them fast depending on how it's prescribed to you in the workout. If this bothers your upper back at all because you feel like your spine is digging into the ground, get a yoga mat. Um, and that is how you do a bicycle crunch. Here's a few more reps for reference. <laughs> 